Hey guys, for all the details on these clip-ins from Hair Spells, keep watching. My girls, pull up, I'm outside, wait about a curb, too upset to drive it, get no money. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Stephanie and I just got a sew in. I'm kidding, but you cannot tell me that I did not just get a fresh sew in with a leave out. Look at this. Huh. So we are talking about clip-ins today. So these clip-ins were sent to me from Hairspills. They sent me over two packs of their kinky straight clip-ins and these are with the PU technology. So I'll get to that in just a moment what all of that means and all that. But let's just show some appreciation to this hair right now. It's so lightweight, it's so fluffy, it is so soft. <sighs> I'm obsessed. So I am just going to go ahead and jump to my unboxing, show you what the hair looked like just straight out of the box, what the each piece looked like, what the original texture looked like because I did flat iron this hair. Um, and then any goodies that came along with the clip-ins. And then I'm going to show you how I dyed them because I did dye them jet black. It did come in like a natural black color. Um, and then I'm gonna show you my install. So how I put these into my head, what my braid pattern looked like because I only have leave out around my perimeter and then right here in the middle. Um, but yeah, you will want to stay tuned and keep watching to this video. I promise you it's well worth it. So you know what to do, keep watching. All right guys, so again, this hair was sent to me from Hair Spells and this is the beautiful bag that the hair came in. So inside the bag, of course, are the two packs of clip-ins. And also this little brochure here that has uh, how to maintain the hair and their social media contacts. Also this cute little clip that says baby and some tape and extension tape. So here are both of the packs of hair. I got 20 inches in both packs. So I'm gonna take the hair out of this pack so I can show you exactly what it looks like. And as you can see, it has this kinky straight texture. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hair color is in a natural black. The hair is so super soft. Just taking the hair out of the pack, I instantly fell in love. So let's take a look at what we have here. So we have one piece that has four clips on it, and then we have two pieces with three clips on it. Two pieces with two clips on them, and two pieces with one clip on them. So as you can see, it has that PU technology where the track is not exposed making the clip in super thin, super lightweight and undetectable. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dye my clip ins using Revlon Color Silk in the color black. I'm using one box of dye per pack of clip ins So I have my mixture mixed up and I am just squirting that all over the hair, making sure that every single hair is coated and saturated. I used the entire two boxes of hair dye on both of these packs of clip-ins. However, this hair dye is super expensive. I think it was only like $4 a box. The most important thing is to take your time making sure that all of the hair gets saturated. So in between, all the way up to the roots, down to the tips. And as you can see, this hair is super duper full all the way to the ends. I'm going to do the same process on the other set of clip-ins, so putting the dye in, raking it through with my fingers, making sure everything is saturated, and then I'm going to let the dye sit on for about 20-25 minutes, then rinse out, apply some conditioner, let it sit, and then rinse that out and hang the clip-ins up to dry overnight. All right guys, so I am back. Let's go ahead and install these clip-ins. So first let me show you my braid pattern. So I had my braider braid down my hair. I did not do it myself, so that is why I did not do it on camera. But let me just show you really quickly. So I did leave some leave out. Um, so this part here, which is just like a U shape, and I left enough hair out in this middle section so that I can either do like a middle part or even do a side part. Um, 
I don't know. I just want to have some versatility. So I also left out some edges around the front enough to cover the tracks if I wanted to like pull it back or pull it up in a ponytail. And then also um, around the perimeter as, as well if I wanted to pull it up in a ponytail. So I don't even know what the braid pattern looks like in the bag, but I am just gonna show you. But everything is nice and super flat so that I can just put these clip-ins on top of it. Since I opted for the kinky straight clip-ins, it's a lot of hair on these clip-ins. So as you can see, these are the two um, packs of clip-ins. So each pack, each set of clip-ins um, has seven pieces and each set of clip-ins is 120 grams. Um, I got 20 inches in these. Um, so 20 inches for this texture and you can also select the origin, which I think is pretty interesting. I think I got Brazilian kinky straight and 20 inches. So each set was $61.20, which I would say is a steal. So these clip-ins are pretty interesting because they are seamless. So as you can see, it has that PU technology there that makes this super duper flat and seamless. And it does have those clips here on the back. So I am gonna go ahead and just install these really quickly. Now with clip-ins, there's no rhyme or reason. You just put them in where they fit in. And I'm just gonna snap these in right on top of these braids and then style it up. So let's just get into it. At first I was gonna talk you through it as I was doing it, but I feel like a voiceover would be faster and we don't want this video to be all day. So the first piece that I'm putting in is a piece that has three clips on it. I'm putting that right above my leave out in the back. So attaching that to my braids, opening up those clips, installing them so combing them through the braids and then snapping them into place next piece i'm going to use is one that has the floor clips and i'm putting this just right above the one that i just installed so again opening up those clips sliding those into my braids and then closing them shut now i did notice that it was a little difficult trying to install these clip ends right on top of the braids so i was going in between the braids and attaching it to hair that way. As long as you are able to comb this through hair and the clips are able to close, you are good to go. If the clip does not snap close, just move it around until you're able to find a spot where it is able to snap shut. That's the most important thing. You want these clip-ins to clip and snap shut. So I'm just moving my way up my hair, just getting pieces that I think will fit uh, where I am trying to install and then putting those in. So you do have a large variety of different sizes of clip-ins to make this work. So it's kind of like a puzzle. I like to think of it. It's just a matter of figuring out the size of the area that you're trying to put the clip in and what clip in length will fit there. That's pretty much all it is. And I'm just working my way up, just figuring that out as I'm going. And just again, opening up that clip in, sliding that clip in either in between or on top of my braid. However, I'm able to get this clip closed. That is where I am putting the clip in. Now, if you were putting these clip-ins in between your own hair without the braids, then I would suggest only getting one pack of clip-ins. But since my hair is braided down, majority of my hair is um, in a protective style per se. Since it's braided down, I opted for the two packs of hair. I really didn't want the responsibility of trying to blend my hair all over my head. Now this leave out around the edges and in the top, that's just a small amount of hair, so it really does not bother me. Since there is no track exposed on these clip-ins and they do have that PU technology, you'll want to make sure that you lay the track so that they fall over that PU strip because it is noticeable if it is not fully covered. As I'm moving my way up installing these clip-ins, you can notice that the hair is getting super full. And I ended up using every piece of both packs of clip-ins except one tiny piece with one clip. And that was it. Everything else I was able to fit into my hair. So if I wanted to go back and install that little piece, then I would be able to do so probably in the back. So now that I have all my clip-ins installed, I'm going to make a left side part and comb my hair until it is blended. 
All right guys, so here are the end results. And to be honest with you, I think I love this more than a sew-in. It's quick. I just had my braider braid my hair down really quickly, which only took like a half hour or so. And then just put in these clip-ins, which only took 10 minutes. Um, and yes, everything is so super flat because of the technology of these clip-ins and the way my hair was left out and braided, like it's so seamless. I could pull this back in a ponytail. I could pull it up in a ponytail. So many possibilities here and I am super excited. So <laughs> I think I am going to flat iron this hair out really quickly and then be back to show you what this looks like with a little bit of heat applied to it. I love the texture now, how it is all fluffy and big, um, but let's just flat iron it out and see what it looks like. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I am back. I went ahead and flat ironed this hair and this is what it is looking like. And OMG, I was supposed to get a sew-in for Christmas, but Amazon lost my package with my bundles in it. And I'm actually happy about it because these are so much better. Clip-ins are so versatile. You can move them around, create different styles protect your hair. My hair is braided down underneath and so I don't have to worry about my own hair. These clip ends are super duper full. For me to only have leave out right here in the middle and then around the perimeter and none of the rest of my hair out, the hair is so super full. So if you were to leave your own hair out, you would probably only need just one set of clip ends. I opted for two because I knew that I was going to braid my hair down. We'll have someone braid my hair down and um yeah it's so full so full so uh, let's just recap here really quickly so this hair was sent to me from hair spells thank you so much hair spells for sending me over this hair and wanting to collaborate with me um these clip-ins are 20 inches long it is their seamless pu clip-ins and i got two sets in um they're the color natural black but i did dye them to jet black each set has seven pieces in it, but you saw that in the unboxing. And each set of clip-ins is 120 grams. This is the Kinky Straight Texture, and for 20 inches in the Kinky Straight Texture Brazilian origin, it is $61.20, which is a steal. That is a very, very good price. Um, it's 100% human hair, so you can wash it, dye it, straighten it, curl it, crimp it, whatever you wanna do. Let me just give you all a close up on my edges really quickly. So you can see how flat it is laying. I did put a little bit of edge control with my Simply Styling um, Edge Booster there. But um, yeah, if I wanted to pull this hair back, pull it up and just look how flat that is. I had to go over to the wall so you could actually really see, but look how flat that is. It's on flat, okay? Um, but yes, I am obsessed, obsessed with these clip-ins. I can't wait to try other textures or other lengths. Um, so this kinky straight texture, just in its natural form, kind of mimics blown out natural hair. And um, with it being flat ironed, it kind of mimics a silk press, have you. So yes, let me give you all a close up of what this texture is looking like after the flat iron. So as you can see, it does still have some of those ripples in there. Um, my flat iron was set to 410 degrees. I may come back and do another video for you all, just showing you different styles that you can do with these clip-ins. Um, and then make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Nicole underscore H. I will be posting pictures of me in these clip-ins, probably curl them up in some loose waves or something. See how that is looking, so you'll wanna make sure to check that out. Um, let me turn around so I can show you all angles before I forget. So, side. And here is the back. Bouncy and flowy. I just love this texture. No tangling, no shedding. And again, this is 20 inches long, so it comes down about to the bottom of my waist. Just make sure that you leave out enough hair to cover the tracks because that's a big thing. You will want to make sure that you cover all the tracks so nothing is showing. 
most important thing side again and front yes so that is it you guys um i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this video i feel like i'm rambling on but i do feel like i'm forgetting something if I think of what that is, I'll put that down in the comments so that you can see that. But I'm gonna put everything down in the description box as far as a link to Hairspell's website, a link to this specific uh, set of clip-ins. And if I do have any promo codes, I'll put that down there as well. But that concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you stuck with me to the end of this video. Um, but that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.